welcome to the lecture of atomic structure in this lecture we are going to discuss what is the structure of atom then how electrons are organized in atom so almost all fundamental things regarding atom we are going to discuss here but the first question is what is an atom so we are starting out from beginning and end will be uh, at a deep con uh, configuration electronic configuration so first question what is an atom so atom is defined as it is smallest particle of an element possessing all chemical properties of that element so from this definition it is very clear that what is element so we have to discuss now what is an element but uh, rather that i should go this way that how this universe is made up of so with our present knowledge say why i am saying our present knowledge because now scientists are accepting there is tremendous matter categories of matter that we are not aware so whatever our knowledge is there that is hardly 5% about this universe that is given by scientist so if scientists are having 5% knowledge then just consider what i should have that knowledge and with that knowledge i am going to teach so first thing uh, we are dividing this part whatever on earth let us consider in case of earth so uh, it is mixture compound and an element what is mixture mixture can be mixture of any two elements one element and one compound or a uh, two compound and like that probabilities are there that means more than one component should be there so it may be 10 mixtures or uh, 10 compounds mixture 10 elements mixture anything you can consider but minimum two components are required both components must be either one is element one is compound both may be compound or both may be element there is no fixed proportion in case of mixing say for example i will take 1 mg common salt that is called as sodium chloride so 1 mg common salt in 1 liter water i may take 10 g common salt in 1 liter water so what are the considerations are there they are considered as mixture now from mixture we can separate out compounds or elements with comparatively easier method i am using word comparatively say for example i am having salt solution Uh, that is our sea water so we can take sea water we can evaporate on evaporation water will get uh, lost and whatever the remaining they are a mixture of salts predominantly sodium chloride but apart from that magnesium chloride calcium chloride and variety of salts may be there depending upon where is the sea and what are the effluents then uh, effluent means or say for example uh, if uh, we are near mumbai then chemical zone is there and variety of chemicals they are also entering in the sea so in traces this type of chemicals will also get there in the salt so we can separate out water from salt comparatively easy method now in case of compound uh, the separation is not that easy i am not saying easy it is not that easy but in case of compound there is fixed proportion of combining element say for example i am carrying out electrolysis of water you are aware of the formula h2o so let me tell you you will get uh, automatically afterwards knowledge just i am giving you example here therefore i am giving some data so suppose i am decomposing water uh, by passing electrical current then water will give me that uh, whatever the amount that is give me in the proportion of 1s to 8 one part of hydrogen by weight eight part of oxygen by weight in that ratio i should get the things so there is fixed ratio between combining element in case of compounds but what is an element so whatever the compounds you can able to separate out on separation of compound we have to carry out various method that is called as decomposition you are aware composition that means to join thing together decomposition to make separate 
so here we are getting decomposition of the substance uh, say for example just now i told that water on passing out electrical current it will be acidified or salty water should required because the conductance should be there but predominantly on electrolysis of water we are getting hydrogen and oxygen this is called as electrical decomposition whereas if you are decomposing calcium carbonate okay can we carry out one simple exercise uh, just i am going to write here this substance that is called as calcium carbonate we are going to heat it this is the symbol of heat that means we are heating out strongly say for example around 600 degree celsius if you are heating out uh, but what is calcium carbonate where from where to obtain it is limestone or even we can consider powder of marble and uh, chalk a uh, chalk means not present day what chalks are there dust place chalk etc they are not there but naturally occurring part is there that is called as chalk so that everything consisting of calcium carbonate so i am heating out calcium carbonate strongly i will get here calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide now in front of carbon dioxide i have to put here an arrow upward arrow that is indicating this is a gas so this is called as thermal decomposition why thermal because we are heating out and then substances are getting decomposed so this decomposition is called as thermal decomposition now here this calcium carbonate that is called as limestone this is what we are obtaining here that is called as quick lime so like that substances are there now this is something we are talking about thermal decomposition so we are having electrical decomposition method we are having thermal decomposition method sometime we are using a method that is called as chemical decomposition uh, but it is not actually perfect but we can consider that say for example uh, iron oxides are there Uh, generally we can consider fe2o3 but variety of iron oxides are there if they are reacting with carbon then we are getting iron this reaction is not balanced i will teach afterwards balancing out and carbon dioxide is released so this is actually uh, here we are considering under chemical decomposition so like that variety of uh, reactions are there they are there for decomposition now when we are decomposing out the substance and finally we are getting something say for example here i am getting iron in previous reaction i was getting there uh, either hydrogen or oxygen or both thing so like that things are there on further decomposition method that substance should not undergo decomposition so whatever you are going to carry out on iron iron will not undergo further decomposition therefore iron is called as an element same way hydrogen is called as an element oxygen is called as an element because they are not undergoing further decomposition so now part of definition we discuss that is what is called as an element the smallest particle of that element possessing all chemical properties of that element that is called as an atom but this is all hypothetical concept in europe there was a person named as democritus he proposed the theory of atom in europe in india similar theory was discussed in the literature that is called as vaisheshik darshan given by a great person named as aulukya but later on he is famous as kanad so the concept of atoms they were there but uh, again keep in mind uh, they were hypothetical concept at that time the real change in this method was carried out by a great scientist that is called as dalton dalton first time given a fantastic data what about atom but uh, i am always having doubt that he might have confused about atoma in sanskrit and atom in greek 
or whatever that uh, European language. Uh, what is the principle? He says atom is smallest indivisible part of an element possessing all chemical properties of that element. Secondly, one cannot convert atom of one element into atom of other element. Third, one cannot destroy existing atom. Next, one cannot create new atom. So like that principles are given by Dalton. But yet, there was lot of confusion whether atoms are there or not. Because debate was there. And in science, this type of debates are welcome. The literal change was occurred in development of modern physics. Particularly after 1896, whatever the developments are there, they are considered under modern physics development. So now we are focusing in next part about modern physics.